I hope I'm not interrupting. Flowers are always welcome. Oh, good. Because I come with them. Aww. These are for you. Thank you. I will place them next to the ones you sent me yesterday. Overkill? Soon I'm going to run out of room. I just wanted to show you how grateful I am for being given another chance. Since I can't tell you in person, since I've been working so much. Mm. Oh, Sonny's custody appeal? Yeah. How's that going? Well, we haven't gotten official word yet, but the point might be moot. Seems that Michael has uh, undermined his case all on his own. That's good for your case, but I hate seeing Michael like this. Yeah, you and Sonny both. He's always been so together, so responsible. It almost makes me feel glad that AJ's not around to see this. He would have been beside himself knowing that he passed down his problems with alcohol. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot that you had no, any kind no, of connection with No, 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 it's AJ. fine. Okay, look, really? the real reason what I meant to come over here for was to ask you out for a romantic dinner. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're on your feet all day. It's about time somebody swept you off of them. Oh, very smooth, counselor. Oh, I try. I'm still dressed for work. I have to go get changed. It's OK. Take as much time as you want. And my boys. Yes, don't worry about that. Hopefully, they will be entertained by Molly. I just got to make sure that her schedule is clear. Yeah? Oh, you really thought of everything. Yeah. So is that a yes? Absolutely. Oh. Elizabeth, you, you want me to get that? What's the matter, Ricky? Surprised to see me? How the hell were you able to find me here? I followed you. You weren't answering my calls, so... Our business is over, Pete, okay? I paid you a giant bonus to keep your mouth shut. You agreed that that would be the end of it. No. I believe what I said was... We'll see. And what I see, Rick, is more cash coming my way. Look, you were more than handsomely compensated, OK? I'm not letting you blackmail me anymore. OK. That's cool. Guess I'll just have to tell Elizabeth what you're doing to her friend Jake. Jake. I wonder what Elizabeth's reaction will be when she sees my face. I mean, as far as she knows, this right here is what Jake looked like before the accident. We can't wait to see you explain that. A miraculous faith healing, maybe? I have been cured! How much? For now? $10,000. Hey, Grant. Fine, okay. But shockingly, I don't have that cash on me right now. Oh, I can wait. No, no, I hear you won't, because if Elizabeth sees you, the jig is up, and you get nothing. You want the cash, you lay low, and I will contact you. Look forward to hearing from you, Rick. Whoa! <laughs> wow. You look in incredible. Oh, my. This whole thing. <laughs> Who are you talking to out there? Yeah, it's just somebody uh, looking for directions. And they just walked up to my front door? Uh, well, his, his phone battery died. I guess he was desperate. Oh. Were you able to help him out? Yeah, I managed to set him straight. Molly's on her way. This is awfully nice of her. Oh, you kidding? Us getting back together is what she wanted from day one. She has been rather persistent, hasn't yeah. she? Like father, like daughter. <laughs> you know, I've made a lot of mistakes, Elizabeth. Because of your huge heart, I get another chance. It's gonna be different this time, okay? I got you, and I'm not letting go. I'm counting on it. How did Jake to think he's a married man from Beecher's Corners? I mean, to take advantage of his memory loss, who would do that? And why? 